what up? So today I took a bunch of different kinds of shirts, and I'm gonna show you how to bleach tie-dye them using stuff like purple shampoo, rocks, dye, yeah. Wait, how'd you make that pattern? <laughs> sponsored by Squarespace. So I took this squeeze bottle and spray bottle and filled it halfway up with water and I'm gonna fill the other half up with this bleach. Wow, such precision. Doing so good, bud. Well, there you go. So we'll see which one works best on the shirts. Let's tighten it up and give it a little shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. So I have these black collie pot and shirts with a little black image on them and we're gonna use them and see how they do. So the first thing I wanted to try out was like the, the traditional spiral technique when you do tie dyeing. So you just spiral on up and asked Ainsley for a rubber band. Perfect. That was so terrifying. I don't know why it was so terrifying. And I'm just gonna section, sure, section it off in like little pizza pie slices. And I was also curious to see what would change if we like started with a wet shirt. So the one on the left, dry shirt, one on the right, wet shirt. Perfect. I tried out the squeeze bottle first and right off the bat I noticed that my shirts were kind of a little bit scared of water. They're hydrophobic. But the shirt on the right that I pre-soaked soaked it right up. I tried out the spray bottle and that one seemed to work on both the wet and dry shirts. So that's the one that I'm going to use for most of the bleach dyeing on shirts. Next to flip it over and do the back side. And every time that I would do this, I would clean off the surface Perfect. as to not get the other side bleach where I didn't want to get bleach. So I did that back side real quick and added a little bit more bleach on that side and then on the front side again and it kind of started to turn. But we're going to set that aside and dry. Because those are a Kali pot and blend, I wanted to try out on a 100% cotton shirt. So I went and got some of those, some cute little gilded ones, and just did the same thing. And I can already tell that they were like bleaching so much quicker, I guess. And... I have to try it on the wet one again, so we can test out how it affects a dry and a wet one. A wet one. Wet one. Which one? A wet one. A wet one. <sighs> what just happened? Did I just have a stroke? So for the next method, I just bunched up the shirt and started catch up up my bleach. And because these shirts are so scared of water, the bleach would like run off into these little nooks and crannies. Which made for actually a really cool effect. And I know because I'm doing a voiceover, I've already seen it. Surprise, surprise. I also just sprayed the top of it because I wanted a lot of this shirt to be bleached. Whoa, let's see that again. I really like these little time lapses of it bleaching. But yeah, so I did the front and now to do the back, same idea, just crumple it up and mustard my bleach on there. Spray it and ugh, let's clean that up. Oh, snake arms. And for the next technique, Ains is actually going to show us how to do this. That's why my hands look so dainty and cute. Dainty and cute. But you fold your shirt hot dog ways, and then hot dog ways one more time. And then you can do little triangles, kind of like if you're folding a flag. I don't know if, how many people are folding flags. I'm, I am a Boy Scout of America. I fold the flags. Um, But yeah, so you fold little triangles, and you flip it, and repeat. And you end by just folding up the little bit that you can and then putting a triangle cardboard piece that you cut out previously on the top and bottom. Then tie it off tight with some rubber bands. Why am I rolling my R's all the time? But yeah, Inzi did so well teaching us. Yeah, she did so good. She was very nervous. So I just put a bunch more rubber bands on top of that and spritzed it with some bleach. Once I got it pretty soaked, I just threw it in a little bag, added more bleach, and we're gonna let that sit and soak for a little bit. So for the next technique, we're gonna crumple it up kind of like we did on that last one, but we're gonna apply the bleach differently with our hands. And you're like, wow, way to wear gloves, Mr. Brian. You shouldn't have been wearing gloves the entire time. Shouldn't you have been wearing safety goggles? Shouldn't be wearing something to protect your lungs? Bleach is not great for all these things. So be smarter than me and like take safety precautions. But anyways, for this one, you're just gonna put the bleach on your hands and with it crumpled up, you're gonna like kind of scrape it across gently and then like re-crumple it up and then do it again. Until you're getting like kind of this fake mineral wash type of look. And for the back, I thought it'd be cool to try actual rocks and see how that works. So I just added some bleach to some rocks, did some rubbing, some rubbing built a little bit, oops, and just 
rolled those rocks around on top of the shirt until there's a piece of glass ouch so yeah make sure you're not getting little glass bits so I did that all over the shirt until it got to the lightness I liked and then I took these seams and kind of opened them up and then did the same thing there so there weren't any like hard seams and we're gonna go put this away hopefully we'll get lighter I also want to try this technique on my Kali Pond shirt so I did the same thing with the rocks and it looked pretty cool over that black on black print there on the front and then also on the back it wasn't quite as light as I wanted it like it was a little hard to read so I just took the bleach spray bottle and misted it a little bit. Next, I wanted to see how these color shirts would take the bleach. So I got a bunch of different colors and just did the traditional spiral. And last, I've had these shirts for a while and I wanted to see which colored ink would look best on it. And so I did the same thing, just bleach them and we'll see how that goes. Once the shirt has sit for a while, you're gonna wanna denutralize the bleach by using hydrogen peroxide. She's a squirter. And the ratio is one to 10. So I put the shirt in there that was getting pretty crispy. I was gonna unravel it, but thought maybe I would do a reverse tie-dye on it, so I didn't want to do it quite yet. Before I get to that, pass me as something to say. So, I don't even need to do transitions like that because I have this transition. Is that a fun transition? Super stoked on the new intro. If you're on my email list, or you've ever been to a website, you probably realize that I use Squarespace. And that's what this video is brought to you by. This video is brought to you <clears throat> Brought to you by, why do I always feel like PBS? <laughs> like this video is brought to you by viewers like you. Um, so here are four reasons why I use Squarespace. One, super easy to sell things online. Their online shop is very user friendly. Two, it's really easy to import images and get things exactly what I want, which has to tie in with number three, which is the, they have a little built in image editor where you can crop, change the color, all that fun stuff. And last is their email list. So to go more depth with that, like getting an online shop was critical for me. And also I did it overnight. And I honestly haven't changed it since that first time I set it up because the templates allow enough freedom to like stay on brand, but they're also very professional looking and good. So I don't have to do too much work. The, the tools are so integrated that posting a new product on your site is super quick that you can get it done in one night, which is what I did with those shirts. So you can actually go to Squarespace right now and start building your website for free. You have a free trial, and then the moment you wanna actually purchase something, your domain, your website, whatever it is, be sure to come back to this video or remember that it's squarespace.com backslash mood. You'll get 10% off your first purchase or use the coupon code schmood. Cool, and transition. So, time for the reveal. So these are both my Kali Pond shirts. The one on the left is the one that I pre-soaked and got wet before I added the bleach, and the other one is that I added the bleach to a dry shirt. And you can kind of see like the one on the dry shirt, it looks like it has like crisper edges, which makes sense because if your shirt is wet, it's going to like dilute the bleach kind of where it's not as concentrated. So that's why you get like that softer, more orange edge. You got kind of the same effect on these 100% cotton shirts. But another observation I had was how much brighter the dry shirt seemed to have bleached. And maybe that's because it was diluted, maybe it was because the wet shirt was still a little wet. But wish it wasn't so orange. Which was one of the cool things about my shirts, because they weren't 100% cotton, or maybe it's because of how they dyed the shirts, they bleached this gray color, which I'm super stoked about. I'll probably have a handful of black on black shirts in my shop if you want to snag one. Now for this little panini. So I took off all the rubber bands, and unaccordioned it and it didn't really work you're supposed to have like bleach it lines on all those little fold marks so we're gonna try again so fold it up myself another croissant and this time i'm gonna soak it in the bleach except it floated so i had to go find something to weigh it down and i let it sit there for like half an hour and looking pretty toasty yum why does this remind me of like a grilled cheese or something? Hmm. Anyways, just unaccordioned it and it's already looking like it's gonna work. Or like it did work. And it did work. This technique is called shibori and it's usually used with indigo. But soak on how it looked with the shirt. The fake mineral wash look, it didn't really get brighter. But I like how like the brown, the left one looks. The right one was a little too orange for me. So we're gonna try to get rid of the orange by toning it. And my brain was like, oh, maybe we'll try some purple shampoo. So that's the, the first thing we're going to try. Whoa. So just mushed it on in the shirt, added some more purple shampoo, got it all wet, added some more purple shampoo, 
and cool we're just gonna let that sit and stew for a bit meanwhile i wanted to try some dye to see if that would change it up on one of those spiral con shirts so i added some black dye and it was already kind of blue and the opposite of orange which is what we want right is blue but also it's kind of red so i thought i would add a little bit of this like greenish blue dye and it wasn't quite enough didn't really change much so i just added some more a lot more put it in and it was already kind of dying it so i thought that was good and we're just gonna go ahead and rinse it out and let it dry this is the original mineral wash shirt then this little circle is after the purple shampoo and this one is after dyeing it after the purple shampoo so i mean kind of worked i feel like it worked pretty well on this spiral one that i just dyed i didn't use the purple shampoo it did a pretty good job of toning out that orange color from the original shirt but it did turn my hands blue which someone on instagram got mad at me for is dye bad for your skin? So another option if you want to get rid of the orange is you can actually just do like a reverse tie-dye. So I just bought one of those little tie-dye kits and usually you want to apply the dye while it's still raveled up, but this was already unraveled so I just made do with what I had. And when I lifted it up, ooh, so beautiful. Because it was so wet, the colors like dye migrated. They just mixed and got really muddy. So I rinsed out the shirt and we're gonna try that again. This time after I apply the dye, I'm gonna let it just sit overnight on my table. You can kind of see the dye on the black part of the shirt. I think that's gonna eventually fade out, but I was really stoked with the colors on the bleach spots. As for these shirts, I mean, I liked them most with the transparent ink. Then after bleaching it, I mean, still, the transparent ink was my favorite. So that's what's gonna be available in my shop. As for these colored shirts, the bleach did about what I expected and just turned the shirts a lighter pigment of what they were. So the reds went pink, your oranges went like a lighter orange, the, the yellow is looking like a nice, happy banana. I don't know what that green is, like a watermelon? Blue, with the exception of the purple one, they went pink. I think I'd really like doing like a mineral wash type look on these color shirts, but that's now up to you guys to experiment with them and see what you get. All right, so be sure to like and subscribe go ahead and hit that bell notification and yeah thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for our patrons